Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Lille career mode. Now we are back on the transfer list. Here are all the blocked players that we will not be selling. And here are all the players on the transfer list. Yusuf Yuziki. Yeah, go away. Gabriel Goodmanson. We've already got a backup left back who is younger and just the same rating. So might as well get rid of him. The Billa, Awful. Jacob Betch. Awful. This guy, young but not great. Capita, got no pitcher. Uh, Chevalier is uh, on the loan list. Chevalier is on the loan list. Breton is on the loan list. Mora and Durand are as well. Now, this is our short list. Before we go through it, we're going to finally mm, make our way through with this deal. Uh, Edmund taps over. Jesus. Uh, it's a little bit more than I was hoping for. 50 mil? Ah, oh, stop being a dick. Stop being a dickhead. Stop being a dick. Just accept that, yeah? Alright, from 80 Milan, we're going to pretend it's by Leverkusen. Edmund taps sober. We tried to buy him at the start of last season and it all went a bit peak tong. But we're looking to bring him in now. He will be one of our highest rated players after he comes in. Uh, the man from Burkina Faso. You're not going to be getting a release clause, pal. You can suck on my knob um, if you think you are. You will be getting some considerable moolah, though. 60k and 400 signing on bonus. There we go. Taps over's in. And now let's look at the rest of the transfer list. Matteo Guendouzi is on it. Rodrigo is there. Uh, Duje Caleta Carr is on there. Adil Alcic on there. Nabil Fekir is on there. Hussam Awar there. Gabriel Martinelli. Uh, Gregor Cobell. And Noah Lang. Oh yes, and of course, Karim Benzema as well is on here. He's probably someone that if we're going to bring him in, we'll bring him in next season as a backup striker. Because he costs way too much for this year. And then a whole load of... Uh, well, not a whole load. Three um, like Youth Academy people. That we could possibly bring in. But anyway, let's get Dabila out of the starting lineup and tap Soba in. That's what we want. Um, and then, other than that, we now are going to be looking Fabregas on the bench because he will be a bench player uh, this season. He's, uh, he's down to 71 rated, so there's no reason for him to be, be a better position than that. And we'll be looking for a player. But we will be banging in that position there with Yaziki leaving. Which is why we've got Fekir and Awar on there. Uh, there's AFC Bournemouth looking to buy Jakubec? Question marks. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that one. But you know what? We're going to skip. I don't know why I, I even joined this. I don't care. We've been absolutely pummeled by Porto there. And we've lost to Getafe as well. Great. Nice. Brilliant. Uh, Gilbert has a... Who are you? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, one of our youngsters, yes. Uh, and I'm actually going to promote you to the senior team as well, Gilbert, mate. One of the only decent ones we have. Uh, oh, my goodness gracious. What is this? Saliba and 23 mil for, say, maximum from Arsenal. Get out. Um, we are going to accept 8 million for Goodmanson, though. It's above his value. And, uh, yeah, we don't need him, so it's decent money for him. Uh, Lazio have bought Estupinan. And Gimmerson is gone. That was nice and quick from the, what was he, Swede, I believe. I believe he was Swedish. De Billa, we've also got an offer for him. He can also make his way out the door. Why is this a thing that happens here? Anyway, Gilbert, Ruben Gilbert. Look at that moustache. Will be making his way into the senior team. And we've got some final scout reports as well. De Billa has been sold. Uh, da, 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 da. And now we must look in at, we must look here again. So Rodrigo, very expensive. We can't afford him at this point. Um, we could, I assume, oh no, very expensive as well, Martinelli. Jesus Christ, 45 mil for Martinelli. Are we mental? Are we going crazy? 32 million for Noah Lang. He could play in the middle as well. But I think the best options would be Awar, who's basically you give him 40 million and you'll get him. Or Fekir, which is, I mean, Fekir is higher rated. He's also five years older, though, Nabil Fekir. 
Um, hmm. I don't think we'll need him for that long, is the thing. I don't think we'll need Fekir for that long, so I think the higher rating at this point is actually probably a good thing. Uh, Awar is definitely second up, though. Cobell is basically just another goalkeeper option. I did not realise he was so high rated, though, so we're going to be taking him away because, well, we can't afford him. Um, out of these three, Mesic looks good, and Rossetti looks all right as well. We're going to leave... Pritchula on his ones though we don't I don't want any of that um Jesus really two more Connor Fuller and uh Seku Diata you know what we'll scout them we'll scout them boys as well why not um so yeah we'll wait for for whoever that was that guy's name I forget it Rossetti and Messic have already accepted their offers new players in Number f oh okay, Rosetti's taken number five. Well, that's that's just one hell of an issue. That should be Taps Over's number. What what number does Taps Over currently have? Oh six. Okay, well I suppose five isn't so bad for him, but it's not it's not exactly great. Um, oh, Gomez is unhappy with his contract. Well, we can fix that nice and dandy. There we go. Um, there's no one else that I really want to be number five to be fair at the moment. So, oh yeah, this guy's going anyway. So I guess I guess that guy can keep it. And um, we'll be skipping the Super Cup this season because I can't be bothered. We have accepted the deal with Nabil Fakir though, which is lovely. Uh, he's only got one year left on his contract as well at Real Betis. Uh, so yeah, we'll be simming this. Ah, Yaziki transfer offer coming in from Roma. We're just going to straight up accept it because... 18 million is over his value, and uh, we could do with it. Well, quicks in this one against PSG. I can see them beating us. Yeah. Oh, wow, they hump us. Messi, Tielemans, and Messi. We did get a goal, though, with Celic, the Turk, the man who really turned up in the Europa League final last season, uh, getting himself on the score sheet. Um, he's looking, mate. Yeah, you need to stop texting me, because I don't care. Fekir is in, 91k. Nabil Fekir, number 33. That's an interesting one is a Lille player. He is now a Lille player, which is good to see. Um, I don't think I like number 33 on him, but I also don't think there's another option. So, oh, I must have gone past him, right? Yeah, I did. Uh, 33. Ah, oh, 11. He can have 11. Number 11 for Nabil Fekir. That's a bit better than 33. There he is then, in a Lille shirt, returning to the league, which brought him... Uh, so much success, Nabil Fekir. Can he bring back the magic that he had when he was in the league? Uh, possibly, possibly, hopefully, for our for our sake, definitely, hopefully. Um, but he's in. He is what 14 ratings higher than Seth Fabregas. So I don't mind. I don't mind it. I tell you that. I really don't mind it. Um, but other than uh, Timothy Weir, there we now have every single player above 80 rated. Which is lovely to see. Uh, we could also make more reinforcement signings. Um, I mean, we can't. We cannot afford Rodrigo. That's just a fact. We well, how much money do we have currently? Yeah, yeah, okay. We cannot afford Rodrigo. The most we will have is what twenty-five million. So we could afford our Cheech. Can't afford him. Can't afford him. Can't. Well, we can't afford any of these. Uh, we cannot afford a single one of these. So we can't. We can't afford anyone. Great. Oh, we can afford Colette Carr um, as a backup centre-back. Who he is higher rated than our other backup centre-back. So I think I think we try and get Colette Carr in because again we're not we're not hugely looking for youth here. And Giallo is three ratings lower. So I think Colette Carr coming in would be a decent idea. Um, Yaziki is gone. Oh, whether we will actually be able to afford him, I'm not sure. Now that I think about it, Coletta card, what, 21 million? I mean, maybe we could put, we could stick Giallo into the deal to, uh, to soften it up a little bit. And then, what, 20 mil? Yeah, he's, he's comfortable with it. We definitely overspent there, 100%. But the beardy boy is coming to Lille. That's definitely overspending, isn't it? We are 100% overspending here, but oh well, sod it. He's coming in. He's higher rated than Jallo. 
three ratings higher. He'll come in, 42k, in he comes, he's in, that's our second signing. Well, if you if you ignore the the children we brought in, we're we going to make him number five, I think. Um, oh, or number f Huh. The numbers are sort of all over the place. <laughs> I, I don't... He can be number three, collect a car, there he is then. Dude, collect a car. Dude is definitely not how you pronounce his name, by the way. Um, also, yes, I did decide on Sven Botman becoming the uh, the new captain. I'm actually just going to release that geezer with no face. Like, I, I, I allowed Hatem Ben Arfa because, like, it's Hatem Ben Arfa. But, like, who who are you, mate? Who are you? Yeah, go away, mate. Sorry, but I, I can't have that. Um... So we're looking at a decent team. Again, we should be... We're actually in the Super Cup final, of course, aren't we? We're in the Super Cup. With Liverpool, who managed to win the Champions League last season for this... Well, not the second... What was it? Like, the eighth time? If they if they actually did it in real life for that guy, I think it would be the eighth time. Uh, I don't want Fuller, even though he's higher rated. I'll go for Diata, though. Um, nice and cheap. Awful weak foot and skill moves, but oh well. Um, we'll we'll send this one. It's up against Nantes. Are we... Oh, we're looking good going into the new season then. Jonathan David at the double. On the first match back, we're looking to go three leaguers in a row. Um, it would be cool as well to see us winning the Super Cup. Whether or not we'll actually manage that, I don't know. I, I mean... Maybe we can beat Liverpool in the in the Super Cup. I'm not counting on it. We've absolutely humped them. Would you believe it? Jonathan David scores the first. Diego Jota scoring to make it 1-1 run half time, but then 3-0 in the second half. Celik, Fekir and St. Maximin. 4-1 victory in the Super Cup final over the Champions League winners Liverpool. And hey, maybe we have, maybe we are ready to win the Champions League because that is absolutely brutal from us. I mean, we're all absolutely knackered at this point now, and we still managed to beat RC Lens. Chalik getting on the discussion again. What a player! What a player he is, Chalik. But we're flying now. I mean, we're not we're not top of the league. Stade de Rem are actually top of the league. Where are PSG? If they uh, where are PSG? Oh, there they are. They haven't played yet. I was going to say, they are having a nightmare at the moment. We're up against Marseille, is this? It is Marseille. Pap Soba rescues a point in the 83rd minute. First goal for the club from the man from Burkina Faso. Decent from him. At least we didn't lose. Oh, Jesus Christ, we've got PSG in the league already. Great. Max says Kakaret has got to Leverkusen. That's, that's cool to know, I suppose. Um, PSG are first. Um, they're probably going to beat us. And they have 2-0, Kese and Mbappe. Timothy Weir getting a red card probably didn't help. But they do beat us PSG. You know what, that's okay. It's PSG. It was expected. Uh, we've got a loan offer for Xavi Simmons, which we're going to just reject because he actually gets into our, our lineup quite often. Uh, not normally the starting lineup, but he does get in there and play sometimes. Chiromeni has left Monaco there. Batshuayi has joined Stad de Rem. Oh, no, no. Who's that? Oh, Stad Rene, maybe. Timo Werner's gone to Leicester. Oh, I hate that. I hate every bit of that. I hate every bit of Werner leaving Chelsea, especially going to Leicester. Fekir has not had a great start by the looks of things in the news there. He's, uh, he's struggling at Lille so far, which, which isn't ideal. Um, Chevalier, Trabs on Sport, won him on loan. Uh, I had to work out which one that was there, the goalkeeper or the... Uh, the attacker, but it was the goalkeeper. Alexandre Lacazette has gone to Newcastle. That's definitely a move I can see happening in, uh, in real life. You are not going to get Chilik, Tottenham Hotspur. He is beautiful. He's a wonderful man. Um, and you're not having him. Um, it is one hell of a transfer window for Lille. I hate, I hate, I hate that from Werner. Uh, I'll change it. Approached by Neat. Okay. Another another team in, in the Liga. I can see him going there. He'll probably accept that one. I, do, I hate that so much. Get that off of my screen. Get Werner to Leicester off my screen. Can I just... Can we... 
Christ, we're all over the place. Luca Romero, loan offer for the Argentine from FC Augsburg. We will accept that one. Um, the youngster, we brought him in last season. He didn't play very much. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's Ndombele. Tangi Ndombele going to Barcelona. I was actually interested in possibly bringing him in, Tangi Ndombele. Now, Barcelona is going to be a little bit more difficult, of course. Golovin has gone to Real Betis to replace Nabil Fekir, I'm assuming. What an interesting transfer window. Anyway, here's the end of it. That is it. The end of the transfer window. We spent a hell of a lot more than we brought back in, but that, with that, we're hopefully looking to win the Liga and advance quite far in the Champions League. I'll see you in January, boys. See you.